Hey, fire signs, what is going on? I'm on the road here, as you might notice, um, moving from my place to go up to Maine. So I'm here, <laughs> you know, just chilling for a while, making video, it's all good. All right, so Aries Leo Sag, what's going on for you? My whole, my house is full of boxes. I can't even move around. So time to, time to, time to Amscray. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's going on for you. I'm using some different decks here. I got a beautiful deck. Thank you to whoever sent this to me. Um, the new Denise Lynn Sacred Destiny Oracle deck. So I'm going to pull a couple of cards here. Um, yeah, you were not really... Yes, Leo, you were involved in the air sign one. As you guys know, I'm pulling cards in the extended. If, uh, if any of you show up in other readings, I'm going to pull cards and the extended for that. So for example, it could be cross watcher, right? So uh, the air sign reading had some Leo energy. So I pulled some cards around Leo in that extended. So you might want to check that out and see if that, if that uh, resonates with you. I will do the same thing here with fire sign. Whoever shows up in this first part of the reading, I'm going to pull some cards in the extended just to get a sense if you're dealing with that person, what's going on with that. Okay. All right, so just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. It can be vice versa. You know the drill here, guys. Freedom. Woohoo! All right, this is, <laughs> this is a, you know I'm a Sag, right? So freedom. Freedom is the mantra right now, you guys. Purification. I'm going to have to read about that one. This is a brand new deck to me. Purification. Why does that sound weird to me? Fulfillment. Okay, well, those two, I like freedom and fulfillment. Let me purification. I feel like in the other deck, this is about like um, cleansing yourself of um, some people or energies or um, habits or things that need to get out of your life in order for you to have this freedom and fulfillment. So purification here. Let's look at that. Um, here we go. Summer rain. Ooh, I like this. Uh, it's difficult for a new vibrant energy to enter your life if it's clogged with old and outdated energy. Cleanse and purify your body and your physical space. This is a great time for a detox, clutter clearing, like moving, cleansing, and space clearing. Release outdated energy to invite fresh, clear energy into your life. Eat lightly. Don't take things personally. Release resentment, guilt, and blame. Purify yourself, thought, word, and deed. Decluttering is the modern-day alchemy. If you don't love it, use it, let it go. This card can also represent abundance as flowing water as a metaphor for prosperity. And summer is a time of expansion. We still have uh, another 20 days or so of summer. So I can't stand that we like, oh, it's Labor Day is the end of summer. It isn't. We, you know, September 21st. Come on, don't rush my summer, right? So let's see what's going on for you. Fulfillment, freedom. This is so beautiful. It's totally Sag energy, that freedom energy, the fulfillment, and then the purification, the sun, the sunflower, very Leo here. Very Leo energy there. I like it. Look what I'm getting here. Wow, you are on a new path, my love. Um, some of you are really uh, taking flight. The freedom energy here is so beautiful. Look at that. Taking flight. And it's an owl. So you're, so you're uh, moving forward with um, wisdom. Okay, this isn't just like, <clears throat> this isn't just random moving forward, because the fool can sometimes be random moving forward, right? Jumping off into the universe without really any planning or anything. The freedom that I'm seeing in that um, owl is that you're taking with you the lessons of the past, clearing out what doesn't work anymore, uh, bringing in the new energy, fulfillment, and the moon is here by the 14th. That's a peach. Woo, that's kind of awesome. All right, let's see what's going on here for you. The air sign reading was a lot about twin flame union, just saying. Okay, just in case you're wondering. All right, so underneath here is this four of cups energy, uh, the stuckness of the past all right, that was really, you were really, somebody was really focused on those three of cups. So you could have been in a third party and not paying attention to the ace of cups, justice, king of wands. Woo, there you are, queen of cups. Um, if you're with a water sign, you could be moving toward an air sign. 
Okay, six of wands, eight of pentacles, five of cups, Leo energy here again, strength, king of pentacles, queen of wands. Wow. Oh my word. Okay. This is interesting here though. Okay, so look where look at look at this. If you are with a water sign, you could be moving toward a Libra. Okay, you see yourself as the king of wands there. Or you could be turning your back on a water sign, or you could be moving more toward a balanced situation uh, in love. Okay, moving, moving more towards that situation. The three of cups here, okay, the three of cups gets knocked over, right? The three of cups gets knocked over. So it's time to move forward. Whatever you were staring at intently for such a long time has gotten knocked over. It's time for that to go away out of your life. I feel like you were working hard on something that was just never going to come to fruition or it was never going to um, be what you wanted it to be or something, okay? But by working hard at something, overcoming something, doing your work, being um, on your path, I'm going to get clarity around that five of cups here because look at this outcome. Passionate, very passionate. Leo energy, king of pentacles, queen of wands. So king of wands, queen of wands. I feel like um, there's there's earth sign and there's um, water sign here. All right, so I'm seeing Libra. I'm seeing um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm seeing all y'all fire signs and I'm seeing Cancer Pisces Scorpio here. Okay. So that's going to make for a very crowded extended. I'll do the normal extended and then I will pull cards around because it could be two fire signs. Okay. Just saying, because we've got the Leo and we've got the queen of wands here. All right. And you know, you're not just one sign, right? You know, you're not just your sun sign. You're a whole uh, conglomeration of a lot of different things. So you could be dealing with someone who's channeling earth energy, someone who wants to make something real with you, someone who wants to, um, that who has a lot of passion for you, wants to make it real, wants to make it visible and um, um, tangible. That's the word, not visible, tangible. So this person is overcoming a situation, six of wands, could be overcoming a work situation. They could have, um, they could have had, uh, something has ended in their life. Okay, something has ended, like I said, if they're dealing with a water sign, you could be dealing, I don't feel like you're dealing with a water sign though. I feel like you're dealing with an air or an earth here. What's the five of pentacle, five of cups about here? What's the five of cups about? Two of swords, star energy, Aquarian energy, three of swords, page of swords, one more please, lovers, lovers. Okay, so... That could have been, okay, so this whole thing could have started as a third party situation. All right, I see three of swords here and that the three of cups knocked over. You could have been spending a lot of time paying attention to a third party or paying attention very, whoever you were paying attention to focused on, whoever the three of cups is that you were focused on, that is getting kicked over, right? That is getting kicked over and now there's two of cups. Okay, so the third person is gone. The third person in that, whatever it was, whether somebody gets a divorce and that partner leaves or the, um, I feel like there's, because the first card here is justice, I feel like there is some kind of legal ramification or legal issue here, something getting balanced. Um, someone who loves you uh, could be ending a thing and now they're, they're available, okay? There's a leaping off into the, um, into the abyss here. We're leaping off into this abyss. I feel like this is super powerful, super powerful passion here. And the two of swords, this is interesting. So two of swords, star energy, three of swords. This person or you may have felt like this was never going to happen. Okay. You guys might've felt like this was never going to happen. How could that ever happen? All right. Because they're afraid of somebody stalking them they're afraid of somebody watching them. They could have been, they could be married or they could just be getting out of a marriage or out of a relationship. So that's why it was like never gonna happen. I feel like one of you felt sadness around it that was never gonna happen. Lovers. Okay. 
So I feel like fire sign, you are very strongly dealing, moving toward an air sign. I've got Libra, I've got Gemini, I've got Aquarius, all of their cards, and the Fool is elemental air, okay? That's all of the, of all of air. And so when we're talking about freedom, boy, freedom is a fire sign thing, but look, this is very airy. Isn't this card very airy? And then the earth energy here, let me just keep going here with this, move on over cards. I don't have as much space right here. Um, this is very earthy, right? This is very earthy. And this is very sexual here, the fulfillment card here. I feel like you guys are going to be together. I can just pick this card up. I feel like you guys are going to be together. I'm seeing, I'm seeing, I saw this in the air sign reading too. I would highly recommend you go watch the air sign reading. Okay. Cause it is about a twin flame union. It's about a union coming together. Okay. Um, you, <clears throat> Fire sign, you could be dealing with a Libra, era, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or you could be dealing with another fire sign. I feel like, um, boy, there's everything here. There's water sign. We'll, we'll just get a sense of it in the, in the extended, okay? Um, this does feel to me like this person is channeling passion and stability. This person wants stability with you. They could work, have worked really hard on um, getting out of a situation so there will be stability now. They, wanna, they want to make some kind of stable connection with you. All right, how is this going to unfold here? We're going to really look at that in the extended, okay? Um, let's do this. Definitely looking, pulling some cards for Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I'll pull some cards around water sign. I'll pull some cards around earth sign. And then I'll ask about a second fire sign, okay, if this is a second fire sign. You know who you're dealing with, all right? This, the, basically the cards will just say like this, that's what if you're dealing with this person. If you're dealing with a Gemini, this is what's going on. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, this is what's going on. So it's little, um, there's sort of little um, riffs on the whole read. It's pretty cool. Okay, so I will use a different deck for the extended. The link is below for you, Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. This is awesome. I feel like you now are coming towards something that is going to be stable and solid and passionate. Awesome. Okay, link is below for you, Fire Sign. I'll see you on the other side.